Welcome on board to this interesting video series. I want to explain something about uh, solar charge controllers. Most of us want to go into solar power system, but we don't really know how to go about it. And how expensive is it or how cheap is it? Actually, it's really worth it if you understand how to play around it, how to design it, how to make everything work. This is a simple UPS battery. You see, it's already fully charged. Look at it. It's a very common battery that you easily find around. Don't worry, we will not be using it. But this is my own battery I've designed. I've used lithium ion batteries. Let me open it for you to see. You can see them inside. I've designed them in a way that they can get 12 volt from it. So this is my solar charge controller. This is it. I will show you how to operate this solar charge controller. This solar charge controller is designed for a maximum of 30 amp. It's a very very common one that is readily available in the market. Not too expensive that much. So you connect it to your battery. Your power from your solar panel will come from here. It will go. It will connect it to these two points. Look at the two points here. This side is positive. This is negative. You can see the symbol of solar here. So for from your solar power, then these two terminal of battery. These two will go to your battery. Look at it. Look at it. One positive, one negative. You clearly see it is written positive on it here, and here is negative. Then these two points are for light. Maybe you want to connect one 12 volt power load. But it shouldn't be a load that draws too much, so much current. So this is a pulse switch modulation. Uh, it it charges your battery using pulses of 21 volt or whatsoever how many volts your power uh, your solar panel is generating to the battery. It pumps it continuously to a point where the battery voltage will continue to rise. The biggest setback with this is it doesn't amplify, it doesn't increase the current. This is my own charge controller I've also constructed, which I've showed you before. The link, if you go through my videos, is already there. Look at it. You adjust the pulse switch from here based on the kind of battery you are charging. But the key thing with this one here is I don't have an auto cutoff. Why this one has an auto cutoff? Instead of imbibing the auto cutoff cut in it, I have this. This is the auto cutoff circuit that I've designed. It's also on my videos. If you go through it, you'll see how to construct it. You connect it to the battery first, then the output from this will go through this, then to your battery. So that once it gets to a particular voltage, this relay will automatically cut off so that you don't end up overcharging. This one too also have auto charge protection. Let me show you how to use it. When you are done connecting it, this first two point for your solar panel, one positive, one negative, these two for your battery, that is the battery you want to charge. But you have to connect the battery first. If the battery is not connected, it will not work. So when you connect the battery and you connect the solar panel, to it this button you are seeing this first button when you press it and hold it look at it is currently charging you when you press it you press it and hold press it and hold uh -huh. you see it's blinking now so you adjust it if you want to increase the voltage maybe the battery you want to charge you want to charge it beyond 12 volt well, then you press this button up as you are pressing it you see that the number is going up Is supposed to be going up and hey, look at it it's telling me 12.1 12.2 12.3 12.4 12.5 12.6 and if you are done if you select the voltage like this one is lithium ion the maximum i can change is 12.6 so that's why i'm choosing 12.6 then i'll press it the same button again and hold when i press it and i hold it it automatically reset then it will stop look at it it's telling me 12.6 so this is the peak voltage i want it to charge to then if there are other parameters on it if you press it it's telling me i'm giving a 12 volt to this lighting point to this two point that's why you are seeing this arrow pointing to this lighting point and if i press it again it's telling me 10 volt 10.7 volt this 10.47 volt i'm seeing is telling me that this should be the auto cut off once the battery voltage go below 12.4 it will cut off providing power to this bulb let me press it again Look at it, 24 volt is telling me that is my solar power voltage. Then this is battery one. This one is not too essential. Then this is my or, or, the original state. It's telling me, look at it, it's showing charging. You can see solar light, solar panel light here. This is it, it's indicating that it's charging. Then this is the light output. Thank you very much.